Welcome to the Receipt Room, your new favorite source for all things Hot Topic, hot Popping Tea, popping. and Tantalizing Sweet Tea. Tantalizing. With, very, right? Very. Sweeten with what? Sweet. Receipt. Receipt. Re <laughs> Triple receipt. <laughs> I'm Mariah Huck. I'm Auntie Buffy. And... We got a lot to cover. We got plenty to cover, girl. Ooh, why am I nervous? I need to I loosen know. up Get, a bit. Shake it up, shake it up. Why am I nervous? Honey, we need to have a toast. Okay. Cha -ching. So you how heard. has your week been, Buffy? Now I want to talk about your week first. Okay. Ooh. I want to talk about your week. Now, you busy running this multi-million dollar studio. Beautiful. Six I love studios. when she brag on me. Uh, I mean, and a black woman owns this, honey. We're going to brag. Okay. But then also, you got all these other top secret projects for which we can't speak. I'm under NDA. She'll sue me. Oh, so, God. Uh, <laughs> She's so extra. So extra. But you got a lot of stuff going on in the home front. What's going on? I do. That's the hardest job, the mama job. So, you know, Ethan is a senior that you're graduating from high school. No. And uh, we've been doing the college admission thing, man. It's a job. Yeah. But my baby got scholarships at um, Drexel. Nice. No, no, no. He got scholarships at Temple, at Embry-Riddle. That's oh. the Harvard of Aerospace and Engineering. Mm -hmm. And um, FAMU got accepted. Nice. Um, he was accepted at, um, I'm forgetting some. I don't know. He got to say Hampton. We're Hampton. going to visit Hampton yeah, yeah. and Embry Riddle um, and possibly fam you in, in, in a week, in a few days, oh, actually. Yeah, you busy doing that. So the I'm excited. Thing. I'm really excited. You, should be. you know, it's just something different. It hit a little different with the young black men. Mm -hmm. Him and all of his friends got accepted to so many great schools and scholarships. So I'm push I'm just really happy yeah. that they're pushing through and Doing a damn thing. I feel and he's like... a co-pilot. Oh, let's oh, not girl. forget that, honey. Because I mean, this baby, he, he, he just fly flies us. every Sunday. He gonna just fly <laughs> us uh, to where we need to go on Wherever. vacation. That's the new thing. We need to buy him a plane. <laughs> Ethan traveled more than we do. Hell, Ethan just got back from Paris last night. Did Japan this summer. Yes, excellent. You just, you Kenichiwa. know about. Kenichiwa. Kenichiwa. You just got back from Japan. Yes, lovely trip. How lovely was the vacation? Time. Um, I'm tired. But <laughs> well, you look refreshed. <laughs> refreshed. No, so Oprah, Beyonce, Gail, uh, who else? Ava DuVernay, they all followed me. Oh, They girl. followed me, they followed me. Yeah. They followed me to Japan, to Tokyo, <laughs> and to Kyoto. They laid it a lot of I'm like, y'all on vacations? Why y'all following me? Mm -hmm. um, no, we had a wonderful time. We visited lots of different shrines and temples and, Bo you know, understanding Buddhist culture, I um, mean, religion. And Why do you start talking proper? Understanding Buddhist culture. You know, I got multiple personalities, so you're going to get all the different voices coming out. <laughs> we see. We know. Oh, yes, we know. We know. We know. Oh, She's not joking. boring. She's not boring. Um, but no, we had, a, we had a great time. It was a good, it's our anniversary trip. So mm. we had a, a love. How many days did y'all say? Eight days. And it was a 15 hour flight. And Damn. I will tell you this mm -hmm. I will never use the regular terminal again at Hartsville Jackson. Oh, you did the little did extra the credit, suite, the private. And suite. Yeah, oh I saw it on social media and rolled my eyes. I, mean, I was like, ooh, I was, Listen, you will, I was hating like a mug. You will never see me at the airport ever again. I'm gonna be at the private terminal where they- as What did they as, do? What did so they, baby, when you arrive at the private terminal, mm -hmm. they sit you down in mm. your lovely suite and they bring you caviar mm. and champagne. Mm. They whisk your bags away, they get mm. your passport, and they get you checked in. And and then you have your private mm -hmm. TSA. Mm. You ain't got to be with all the children. Mm. <laughs> and how much they charge? Because no, I know that ain't no, free. We're showing that receipt. I want to <laughs> see that receipt. That's what I want to see. We're not showing that receipt. And like, I have to go to DC mm -hmm. tomorrow and I'm using it again. That's how serious I am. I'm never. So DC is not um, for pleasure. No, it's for business. What are you doing in DC? So huh? I'll be going to DC this mm -hmm. week mm -hmm. to lobby Congress to bring back the trades, the importance of trade school education. Wow. Um, you know, college is great, but it's not for everyone. You're right. And quite honestly, with artificial intelligence taking out all these jobs and all these different sectors, we need to express the importance of we need roofers, yeah. we need AC, and right? Me. We need you to be a, a construction worker. AI can't do all that, and those were great jobs. And it and it actually. You think about it, the blue collar blue collar workers gave black people Wealth. middle class, right. you know, lifestyles. Right, definitely did. And, um, you know, we moved toward college prep education, which is great it is. in the schools, but we cut out, you know, shop class. We cut out we home did. economics, which taught you about finances and yeah, how you to You know, cook. these people need to know how to cook. And now, this new themselves. generation Do don't want to get their hands dirty. No. Don't want to cook. Don't mm -hmm. want to clean. No, and their parents ain't teaching them. So, Can't change a flat tire. Look, 
<laughs> no, you're right. You're right. So, so yeah, um, I'm doing this. Um, I'm vice chair of this charity called um, AYA, which is introducing youth to careers in American infrastructure, mm. along with Dr. Beverly Scott, who was a former CEO of MARTA. Mm. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Buffy, that was, I mean, it sounds like you're campaigning, honey. Well, you know, let the lobbying begin. One day. <laughs> <laughs> How long will you be in D.C.? Um, for five days. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, girl, we got a lot to cover. We got a lot today. to cover. We got a lot let's to cover. Let's get to that. What is it? it? Let's get to our opening ledger. Let's get to our opening mm -hmm. ledger. Or oh, it's the trending tally. Oh, shit. What's, what's going on, honey? Mm -hmm. It's a lot going on in the news. Um, so... All these women popping up pregnant. Okay, are you on the shot? <laughs> you ain't bringing. Back. Wait a minute. So you're saying that? Are you bringing back any souvenirs from Japan? Because you've been on know. vacation. We don't know. And I, I asked because every single time Aiden and I used to take vacation around the holiday, yeah, we'd always come back pregnant. That's Ooh. why we have October babies. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's hope y'all. So, yeah. Yeah. So Washington Post is reporting that there are a lot of women mm -hmm. saying that because they're taking GLP-1 agonists, which are like Ozempic, Manjaro, Wegovy, okay. Tyrazepatide. On a diet, honey. On the on Ozempic diet. diet. Getting, but you know, the one I was on, it lost 90 pounds. Um, yeah, they Damn. popping up pregnant. You can't honey. just skip over that. Mm -hmm. She lost 90 pounds yeah, on the MRSMD weight good. loss. <laughs> <laughs> and have kept it off for uh, two years. But yeah, they're popping up pregnant. I could believe that because I did Ozempic for like four months mm -hmm. um, a while ago, I think when it first came out. Yeah. And I could see how it plays with your hormones and you don't have a cycle sometime and when you have one, it's heavy. So, I, you know, missing that, you right. don't know. Yeah. So I can see how a little extra baby can creep up creep on, on you. Creep on in. Mm -hmm. And it also says that um, the article also talked about it interfering with the pregnant, your... Um, Hormones? No, your uh, your. See, I never took it, so I don't know what it's called. The birth control. <laughs> oh, ooh, honey, the I'm birth glad you said pill. that. I'm a double down yeah, the on birth control if pills, I go back. Yeah, to the birth control Ozempic. pills ain't working with the uh, with the weight loss stuff. And so Nova Nordis is saying there are no definitive. The maker of um, yeah. Ozempic is saying there are no definitive claims about this, really. But they're gonna do some clinical trials and kind of you know come up with some more definitive information. But there are like hundreds of women saying. That they I saw that pregnant. it was a Facebook group. Yeah, like, with like 500 yeah, women. With a lot of the women mm -hmm. saying it. Yeah, 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 mm, yeah. I don't know what I would do, honey. Uh, be happy and give me the baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, honey. They, you know what? I'm about to be an empty nester. My oh. babies are le you know, leaving. Lawrence is Spelman. Ethan is headed to college. And I just, I, I haven't, it hadn't really sunk in with yeah. me. We're going to visit Hampton this week. And yeah. we're going to um, Daytona Beach. We're going to Hampton and we're going to Embry-Riddle. And trying to figure out what he, where his next chapter will be. Does he have any like like favorites? Of I think the... because he loves the you know the aeronautical thing. He's done yeah. it so long. He's been flying so long. I think he probably is pointing towards Embry Riddle, Harvard. Look, the, the Harvard, Harvard of aerospace. The Harvard of aerospace. But I, I think a part of him also loves the Hampton field because we went to visit for Lauren. Yeah. Um, years ago, yeah. you know, when she was trying to choose between them and Spellman, and Ethan seen a few little AKAs and was <laughs> like, I'm going here, this is home. So, yes. you know, so it's going to be interesting to see where he, you know, chooses to go. Well, keep us posted. We I really want to know. We love the family. Kind of sweating. My nerves get bad when I think about my baby leaving. What y'all going to do? Y'all going to be running around the house. Aiden going to be running around the house naked. Don't, I really <laughs> hadn't thought about it. You know, it's so crazy because it's like they grow up so fast. And people say that. Older people say it. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. You gonna be fine. I'm gonna push through. I'm gonna push through. Travel the world. We'll run around the house naked. I suppose he gonna run you around naked. Mm -hmm. You know, Candace always just had a baby. Your favorite person in the whole wide world. She ain't my favorite person. You the one she to say you like that. She in the news nowadays. I did not. Yes, I did you not. did. I did not and say that. Did. I said I like to hear different perspectives, and she is so far right. That ain't a perspective that somebody need to hear, in my opinion. But you know what? Um, I have been seeing her a lot in the black media. Yeah, they're courting her, and I want to know why. I don't think they're courting her as What's much. What's on the Breakfast Club? I think it's the art of reinvention. She been fired from her white job. She better go to the black news media outlet. Honey. And why she you got fired from the white folk? And why she got fired from the white folk? Um, <laughs> well, should you know? Everybody knows some things you don't speak on. <laughs> you know, I well, I think Dave Chappelle said it best. He said when you speak about black people, they're a gang. Mm -hmm. He said when you speak about Italians, they're a mob. Mm -hmm. when you speak about Jewish people. It's a, it's a coincidence. It's a coincidence. It's a it's a misunderstanding. Co mm -hmm. So I think maybe it was a coincidence that she spoke on the war and had her ass out the door the next day. 
Well, allegedly, in my humble opinion. Oh, allegedly. Allegedly, in my humble You're opinion. You're being too conservative. You got to say allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. in my humble opinion, Candace Owens is getting paid by the Trump campaign mm. to go out here and court the black folk and try to like manipulate us into voting for him. But I don't think that, I mean, being black is not just about being in a box. I don't think we could be manipulated. That. I know, I think You don't think absurd. some of us can be manipulated? I, do, I, I don't, no. Okay. No, no, no. I think we Sissy see Red. through. You know what? I think we, um, we see Candace for who she is, but I think we're forgiving, we are a forgiving race, and I think that um, we kind of know that she's been misled. Bless her heart. You got to think. To me, I see her as a young, I, st I know she's 30-some years old, but I still see her as broken or just trying to find herself. Why so darn nice? No, it's not that. It's that not that. Evil. You think about her story. Think about just a little bit I know of her. She's trying to find herself. You just think about when she was in high school, she sued for racism, saying that she was, you know, you know, treated a certain way, discrimination. Mm -hmm. I got 37000 And then turned around years later and said that racism doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. That in itself it's lets confusion. you know. Spirit yeah, of confusion. But, so I think that now, even with what she's going through at, was it the, what was the place she worked at? The Daily, Daily Wire. Wire. Mm -hmm. I think even just going through that experience will whip your ass back yeah, into your own identity, okay? It'll remind you, because even though she may be married to a white man, you still got to know who you are, where you come from, and they will remind you. They sent Candace's ass right on to the corner and said, sit down, go sit down. <laughs> Sent her packing to the left, to the left. So, yes, yeah, she went to the Breakfast Club, went on Joe Budden's uh, uh, podcast, because I think that she wants to be able to reach a different audience, us. Now. She wants to reach a different audience now because the white folks is done with I'm not her. saying it's authentic. <laughs> I'm not saying it's necessarily authentic. I just think that the fact that she's even doing it lets you see that she's experienced something because we didn't know when she first went on there. When she first, you know, was seen on there, nobody knew why. And then a day or two later, they announced and they wanted us to know that they had fired her. Not yeah, that she left. That she quit. They fired that, her. Yeah, not that right. she quit, that they fired her, that right. power. Right, right, right. So it's going to be interesting to see where that goes. Now we come to my favorite part of the show. Yes. My most favorite part some, of the show. Some mess. The mess. Wait a minute. We call her Messy Martha. You know? Messy Martha. Yeah, Messy, Messy Martha, Martha from Martha's Vineyard. Mm -hmm. um, so, Miss Aoki. Aoki Simmons, Simmons, Simmons yeah. Kamora Lee, and, and Russell. Russell Simmons' daughter, Miss Harvard. Yeah. Harvard to escort. Yeah. From Harvard oh, to private oh, escort. No. But from you, Harvard you out to of private pocket. escort. You know, they learn from their mamas, baby. They learn, they learn from Ow. their mamas. Oh. Apple don't fall far from What did she tree. do? You didn't say what she did. Oh, they could deduce She's from 21. what I'm She's, She's 20 21. She's 21, 21 años, and she is dating. She was in St. Bart's. With a 65-year-old I saw that. Billionaire. Vittori somebody uh, else. Asif. Who, I thought he was like 100 years he's old. He's like 105 years old. Yeah. He owns the Serafina Restaurant Group. And worth $250 million. Well, some reports say $400 million, a billion dollars. I wouldn't care if it was a billion dollars. If it was my 21-year-old daughter, I would make sure he was rejected from AARP. They would reject his <laughs> card. Mm -mm. Decline. I think you gotta lie to your kids. I would honestly, if that if that was my daughter, I would feel violated and I would be so disappointed. All you money, good, good money. And I would, you know what? You gotta <laughs> lie to them though. You really gotta lie to your kids. I would say, Lauren, I would be like, you know, you can get worms <laughs> so <laughs> sleeping with somebody that old. But like that's crazy. Allegedly, you can 21? get worms. So, so, so this is the tea. There was a live that Aoki did with her father, Russell Simmons, where she threatened him. Daddy issues. If you don't up my allowance, mm. I'm gonna get me a sugar daddy. And I guess that's what she did. They said, she said, wow. y'all don't run me my money. If you don't run me my money, mm -mm. I'm going to get me somebody that's who That's not will. cute, though. I hate, you know what? That's kind of disheartening because she, she thinks she's hurting her parents. She's hurting herself. Like, you know, if that's the case. If she's doing it out of spite, like, that's crazy as hell. You Is running your own mileage up. I, I just, I don't want, I don't think we need to, you can't call her the, the baby no escort. She's just 21. You just said she running her mileage up. Now what? That's just an well, escort. Well, that's the truth. That's an escorts run their mileage up. I ain't call her no escort. Come on down <laughs> Buffy. Call her late little child. She's just 21. She's a Harvard grad. She has a whole life in front of her. And, you know, maybe she has saw her mom date maybe. older. Maybe. Yeah, p possibly. 
and possibly. We've all seen her mama date. Girl, Kamora got some long legs. Right. We ain't better be talking about her. I ain't worried about Kamora. <laughs> I mean, the history is facts. I mean, Kamora was dating her father, Russell, she when she was, what, 14, 15 years old. But that child wasn't born yet. I'm just saying. She's cognizant of that, yeah. as we all are. And behavior. I'm not demeaning the child, but no, what I'm not. saying is, from Harvard... You demeaning the child. To dating this man ain't a good I look. I get it. Well, what about love is blind? We both are in interracial relationships, and no, no people will say, well, you married a white man, and I married a Bangladeshi man, so love is blind. Does it have an age limit or a color preference or a religious... Like, what... It, when you're 21 years be... old and it's your granddaddy age, yes, it's, that's deep. That's a I problem. I can't even make no excuses. That for that's it. that's that that that's alarming. Yeah. That man taking be. pictures of her in St. Bart's, like I she's, felt like that when I seen it. It just I did. I can't even lie. Not right. Well, she's definitely dealing with some daddy issues. You're right. And Mariah, you make a good point about being a mother and having kids, and sometimes. They act out. Right. They act out. They rebel. You know, you can do everything right and put everything into your kids. And my grandmama used to say, you never know what you're going to get. Right. You really don't. So I'm not saying that I go along with what she's doing because I don't. And right. if it was one of my kids, I would right. go ham. Right. However, I am saying just let's give her a little grace because I, I do believe she's doing it to get attention from her dad. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know. You're absolutely right. When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. What you say, Nene say? What you say, Nene say? You right, I'm wrong. You right, I'm you wrong. You are right, I You right, I'm wrong. wrong. I ain't got no children, so I don't know what it is to have somebody talk shit about your kids. Sorry, uh, monetization. But, uh... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Miss and Martha. I told you. Miss and Martha. So, yeah, I'm wrong. That's not right. But it's just disappointing. Not but. It's just, it's disappointing to She's... see where her bright future, that this is where it's going. But again, maybe she ain't done nothing. Maybe she just pimping this man out like whatever I'm just like you said not pimping she ain't pimping no I'm just saying maybe she's just trying to get her dad's maybe you don't know these little girls might, nah you think he's, this, he's the one I didn't say that I'm mm -hmm. just saying she ain't the one pimping him it's opposite he's an old that's an old rich white man honey she ain't pimping that mm, well, trust true. and believe they make you feel like that possibly but what but, but what, but what mm -hmm. I mean by that is you're saying that she has daddy issues so yeah. maybe she's using the situation and so pimping wasn't the right word but she's manipulating the situation to get her parents attention yeah and that's a part of growing up it is and that's that's fine it is so she ain't no escort y'all come on mm -hmm. don't come for me right, mm -hmm. right. I didn't in for you. Okay. Um, and baby, call your daddy. Call your papa. Get, send him an Go inbox. Go to Bali and see him. Yeah. Sure. Go and spend some time with mm -hmm. your daddy and for the real. The reason he didn't get you all my money is because allegedly he ain't got none. Oh, God. You know what? He, they probably put so much money into those kids. She's a Harvard grad. You know, they, you know what I'm saying? Like, they probably have spent so much, and it ain't just about money. Right. You know, but they get accustomed to a lifestyle, right. and that entitlement is, honey, this, this, is, di this is a different generation. It's and real. just saying that you got, finding the balance of giving your kids what you didn't have, you know what I mean? And still making them work for, you know, and have a work ethic. Mm -hmm. it's, it's no, it, they don't come with instructions. You know, finding the right balance is hard. Yeah. And it ain't no perfect ingredients. She to does it. have jobs. She's a model. She does model and, and does well in modeling, um, like her well, that's mother. Good. Um, but I guess it just wasn't enough money for her. But you're right. You grow up in a certain lifestyle. I mean, like yeah. we took our we took our um godchildren with us to Japan and they ran into all kind of their friends. And I'm like, y'all do realize mm -hmm. that this is not normal to run into your friends on spring break in Japan. Yeah, I said that to Ethan him, a class trip in Paris. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. Right. Yeah, it's, you, you do value that and understand that it is a huge thing to be able to travel the world and right. live a certain lifestyle. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, call your daddy, baby. Call your For daddy. For real. You know, mm -hmm. call your mama, call your daddy. Because Auntie Buffy about to snatch your ass I'm up. I'm about to snatch you up because <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't care for it at all. You're a smart girl, beautiful girl, young lady, and the world is your oyster. Well, what about Vittori? His grown old ass. He a like, predator he, like they normally are, exactly. honey. He see a young now, that's what I think. To, yeah, he's a predator. He gave me young... perv vibes. Uh-huh. Uh, he allegedly, allegedly said that uh, he was uh, trying to get with Mary J. Blige. Well, that would have been a better fit. <laughs> now, Mary, Mary J. would say, she would have took him down, honey. <laughs> Jay could have, Mary J. could have handled that. Yes, God in her boots. Yeah, yeah she Mary would have touched that with a 10 pole. Shit, child. Shit. No, thank you. No, I don't thank know you. if I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mary J. would have took that down. 
Now we talk about all the mess, Martha. <laughs> mess and Martha. Be messy, Martha. And all the tantalizing tea, but it's like real stuff going on in the world. Um, I thought it was horrible with the Baltimore bridge collapse. It's heartbreaking. Eighth largest port in the U.S. Hundreds of millions of dollars go through their agriculture, cars. Um, I just feel like it's a lot of receipts and a lot of things that need to be answered. Mm -hmm. Six lives lost. lost. They're still looking for people. Like Families destroyed. I mean, like I and, just don't think they're talking about it. Oh, they're not, because the insurance companies don't want you to talk about it. What, I mean, but what what happened? Like, do we even know really? No, and I don't know that we're really going to know what happened, Mariah. I mean, they're going to try to hide that as much as possible because they don't want the families to get what's due to them, allegedly. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, they're saying it's going to be 18 months to seven years for them to repair this now how do they come up with that time like who who said some like aggro, some uh some some scientists some some accounting person somebody but they don't know somebody so in they your say, field in my well, field hmm. so an actuarialist honey if they say 18 months to seven years it's probably longer than that yeah quite honestly um and it being the eighth largest port yeah. i mean imagine all the jobs lost all the all the money all the businesses that are going to be affected. The food by, chain. Right. That affects the yes. food chain. Supply chain issues. And think about it. You don't have that type of accident and not have some type of chemical spill. Mm. They're not talking about a lot of layers that go with that. Mm -hmm. Now, we say, we talk about a missed memo. That's a missed memo, honey. That is what you mm -hmm. call a missed memo. Yeah, what kind, of, what kind of fluids went into that water? And they don't want to talk about that. And the insurance yeah. companies are already saying they, they want to cap at $3 billion. Now, how you gonna mm. cap and you don't even, haven't fully assessed everything yet? That's how you know it's some shit in the game. Mm -hmm. so, oh, I can't, mm -hmm. can, I can't say, say shit, that on with monetization. Is, you can say monetization, <laughs> Look, shit. For real. Monetization, it's a, it's shit. a mess in the game. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, our hearts go out to the, the families. families. I mean, yeah. they're still looking. It's just, it's disheartening. It really is. It, it is a travesty. And the bad part about it is, like you said, we never re really will know mm -hmm. what happened and how it was caused. Just, I just feel like, you know, we really need to stay on this. I agree. This is Come on, Buffy. We need you to put your investigator this is hat on. This ongoing story. Find out what happened. I'm going to find out. I'm going to get the receipts. Yeah. Honey. You know, we're going to get the receipts and we're going to keep... Um, the families deserve it, though. They do. They mm -hmm. really do. I hope they stay on their tails. They will. If not, we will here at the receipt room. We're going to stay on top of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, but again, we, we, we really feel horribly about what we happened. Do. And it also speaks to the crumbling infrastructure here in the United States. Yeah. Which is a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, we stay to give them money, be quiet, other places and not Well, investing. it's okay to give, but we got to take care of ourselves first, right? Mm. Give, give, give. Mm -hmm. You like, give you Jesus like no comment. Name. You like no comment. Um, I'm a big philanthropist. But, yeah, you are. But you we are. got homeless we people are. on the streets here. We both are. Yeah. Um, you know, we need to take care of home. And um, a lot of these problems that are happening, if we would invest in our infrastructure, it yeah. wouldn't happen. Just saying. So there's that. Um, now, but, when you were in Japan, baby, were you keeping up with the the big news, the hot topic, baby, the, baby, the tantalizing tea tantalizing over tantalizing there? Topic. Let me just tell you this right now. What I learned: America is like a third world damn country. I'm mm. sorry, it's so clean over there. It is in Japan. And ain't no trash cans nowhere. Yeah. I learned that you have to, you, where you take your trash, you have to, where you receive trash, you have to get rid of the trash. Mm. So I can't go to 7-Eleven, which is popping. Mm -hmm. It's popping in Tokyo. 7-Eleven <laughs> is the hot spot. It is? Yes, honey. Yes, honey. You I've can't, never been to Japan. You can't. You got to go. Mm. You can't take your trash from 7-Eleven mm -hmm. and go to some restaurant and think you're going to throw it away there. They don't allow that. Mm. You must dispose of it at the site of origin or at your home. Mess around, get your hands cut off. You don't, you don't play in them Asian the countries, funny, the, the Middle funny, Eastern countries either. The funny thing is, though, the streets are clean. Ain't no trash yeah. nowhere. The bathrooms... Everywhere, public, total toilets. Well, the toilet littering like, hey. is littering, uh, is it a felony there? Probably, I mm -hmm. don't know. I had to get the receipts on that. Yeah. But they don't play that. And um, I also learned don't talk on the uh, subway because my loud ass was talking. Ooh, <laughs> you know them people. You my know her voice was, was her voice was loud. <laughs> like Simone. And, <laughs> and up several octaves. <laughs> I'm just kicking it up. And they looked at me like, you darn. I can only imagine. American. And our, inter <laughs> our uh, interpreter and lady, she was like, shh. No, don't talk on the subway. Don't so talk. were you able to see a lot of, now I'm acting like you. I, I'm doing the mess in Mariah now. Did you see all the, the Diddy mess? Do you want me to bring the receipt? Do I need to bring the receipt? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. 
did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Yes, did child. It. Everybody was talking about did it. Everybody oh was talking about did it. I thought it was child on the run, but it didn't. But this it is. feels like a, it feels like a, a documentary, a docu series. It's just it, it just gets more and more mm -hmm. deeper mm -hmm. and dangerous mm -hmm. every week. And we need Mariah Huck to do the documentary. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Baby, cause baby, there are so many layers to this. No, ma'am. There's Cassie. Oh, no, ma'am. Oh, you scared about oh, the unalive? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got, I don't want to touch it with a twelve foot pole. Mm -mm, honey. It's perfect for lifetime, darling. It's perfect. That ain't lifetime. Mm -hmm. That's an old. That's what it was used to be. A uh, uh, not HBO Max. It used to be Showtime. You know they show all the this is the nasty <laughs> shows after eleven. Maybe it's too big. I don't mm -hmm. know. Child. He got underwater caves and allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, I think that was a fact. That is that alleged? No, they say he really had underwater caves. Y'all know, but you know they raided the place. Ooh, child. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. Like next thirty time. agents. Yeah, that's a whole. That's a whole episode. It's too much. Yeah, it's a whole episode. Cassie, <laughs> the son. But Cassie is participating. Ooh, uh, 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 and 50 Cent trolling. 50, yeah, oh, 50, 50. 50, 50 gonna get social no media. Did you see the milk carton with yes. Jay-Z's yes. face yes. on it? Yes. Like, yes. So I wonder, has this whole Diddy thing changed the social media algorithm? Like, it's for real. Yeah, it's, it's all Diddy. It is. And if you ain't talking about Diddy, your stuff gonna get 200 views. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. you, so you gotta kind of talk you about it. You gotta talk about it. I mean, it is the news. So you think people are afraid to really deep dive into it? Of course. Of course, we, I mean, yes, he un allegedly unaliving people, child. But you know what? He's why now? Why now? Why them, is them it getting? Them NDAs run out. Is it that, or you notice things start to happen and unravel when our um, black men or powerful men um, start to uh, try to acquire companies or oh, start like to speak like out? Bill Cosby. Yeah, but I think with him, I think with the whole thing with Ciroc, mm -hmm. I think we people have been hearing whispers, whispers and rumbles about Diddy for decades. Yeah, forever. So why now? The only thing I could think of is the whole thing with the alcohol company that he. Well, I think it's yeah, them tanks the that line. allegedly exist of several politicians, princes, princesses, uh, Oprah, all the people. <laughs> All the people allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes, allegedly, Ooh. everybody attending them parties. And them oh, allegedly, 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 them parties. Mariah scared. I told you, I don't scared. do no show it's with me. Not, it's not uh, my mouth, not a Mariah. <laughs> no, you know what it is? It, it really is crazy. It it's crazy. It does not feel like it could be real, but I know it is. Mm -hmm. And that's, that is, a part of that mm -hmm. is a bit scary to mm -hmm. me that you know they just it's just these underworlds and mm -hmm. it's like a, a whole different story up under the store you partying upstairs you don't know what's going on in the next room in the bathroom somebody getting shot somebody mm -hmm. getting raped it's just mm -hmm. a lot it's seen too much and it's being recorded it's too allegedly. much and it's it's scary and the entertainment business has gotten so dark very and so devilish that i mean it it, it is i don't I mean, I just I just can't believe how deep and dark it's gotten. Well, stay tuned, y'all, for our next episode so we can get all into the mess you of know, how she deep and she, dark. She itching to talk I'm about it. I'm itching to talk about I kinda it. I kind of wanted to touch on it a little bit, but you like, uh-uh. No, we saving that for the next episode. Y'all come through and make sure you do what? Follow us well. Like, follow, and subscribe. Did I do it? Is you it did like, it? Yay! follow, and subscribe. and subscribe? Hit the subscribe button. Subscribe button. So if I do this, hit the su subscribe button. The like receipt room, follow. receipt room, and mm -hmm. follow us everywhere on social media. Receipt room, and then we're also download our podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, um, podcast, and iHeartRadio. Mm -hmm. We are available, and we are ready to bring y'all the receipts. Every we are week, receipts, we receipts, 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 and Buffett's voice. <laughs> <laughs> one you of know? them, because you know yeah. I got multiple personalities. You don't know which one. She's show bragging up. on it. Look, <laughs> I married a psychiatrist she for a take reason. She's the honey. best today, honey. You know I love Buffett. She be. Baby, team too much. <laughs> team extra credit, saying yes. that. <laughs> and proudly. Proudly extra credit. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. So